The islands that protect us from hurricanes are disappearing and the land masses are quickly going away as Louisiana sinks and the water rises. But there is work being done to save those islands. Uh, Paul Dudley took a boat from Cocodri about 10 miles south to find out what it looks like. All around Cocotree, land is disappearing, and with it, perhaps a way of life. Protecting this town and so many others inland are a series of barrier islands vanishing into the water. There are a list of reasons why barrier islands are important to Louisiana. Most notably, they serve as the first line of defense when a hurricane hits. When the storm comes in, they're the thing that's gonna take the first brunt. These land masses also keep the waters of the Terrebonne Bay quiet, and that in turn slows down the erosion of the wetlands closer to people. The state has lost 2,000 square miles of land since the 1940s. Like the marshes, these islands are shrinking because the land is sinking and seas are rising. Hurricanes have also left the islands badly damaged. You can see just how much of the island has disappeared. On our way to a series of barrier islands, we come upon the Lake Pelto Sulphur Mine Island. This photo from 1988 shows a large building on it, and satellite imagery from around the same time shows most of the land still visible. This is what it looks like today. It's kind of the story of Louisiana. You know, we think a lot of, in New Orleans about, um, you know, ain't there no more. And, you know, this is, you know, literally an island where there were buildings and people working, and now there's hardly anything left of it. And it isn't just this small island disappearing. The barrier island chain serving as the last strip of land between the Gulf of Mexico is also deteriorating. Less than 200 years ago, Isle Denier, or Last Island, was one continuous island, roughly 25 miles long and a mile in width. The history of this place is back in the 1850s, there was a big hotel here. It was a big resort for the rich and famous in, in the south. Um, Around 1856, a hurricane came through here and blew this place away, destroyed the hotel, killed most of the people that were in the hotel. Today, Last Island is made up of several barrier islands. And according to USGS, they are eroding so quickly that some estimates predict they will be gone by the end of this century. Scientists at Coastal Engineering Consultants are working to slow down the destruction. On Trinity Island, there is a restoration project paid for by BP after the spill. Crews are rebuilding the land by dredging sand from about 10 miles offshore. These islands will serve to protect the inland areas from future hurricane damage. Another effect of this is habitat. By the time we finish with this island, we'll create at least 1,000 acres worth of pristine, fresh habitat. While these projects are offering a bit of optimism, removing large parts of the seabed and dumping it elsewhere can have its own significant impacts on the ecosystem. And another problem, the protection may not last very long at all. There is a you know, relatively large restoration project in these barrier islands with the idea of you know, maintaining these islands for 10, 20, 30 years. While time may be running out for these barrier islands, scientists are hopeful more new restoration projects, some closer to the mouth of the river, will serve as a life raft as land sinks and waters rise. You know, we can build levees, but levees only go so far. You actually need a healthy natural environment in front of those levees to really protect people. And so when it comes to um, preserving the culture of Louisiana, as well as protecting people against things like storm surge, coastal restoration is really key. Despite the restoration, some geologists say the barrier islands could be gone before our children become adults, leaving an uneasy feeling as future hurricanes sit on the horizon. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. And if you'd like to see more videos of the old sulfur mine island and the restoration work on Trinity Island, just go to our website, wwltv.com.